Ready Capital, an 11% dividend yield stock with a payout ratio sitting at just 76%. Is it really true or is it going to collapse? In this video, I will show you everything you need to know about Ready Capital and why I own shares of this company and if I'm going to buy, hold or sell. Ready Capital recently announced a quarterly results and they were very good. All the reason to do an analysis of this company. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stock at great prices. Please subscribe to join the community and to receive multiple analysis every week, where I will tell you everything you need to know about the companies. Ruddy Capital is a multi-strategy real estate finance company that originates, acquires, finance and serves small to medium sized balanced commercial loans. Ruddy Capital specialized in loans backed by commercial real estate including agency multifamily, investor and bridge, as well as SBA7. Headquartered in New York City, Ready Capital employs over 700 professionals nationwide. In the investment presentation, Ready Capital claims that they are the largest non-bank lender to both investor in and owners of small balance commercial properties with a current market capitalization of 1.1 billion. All weather investment strategy as direct lender and acquirer of bulk portfolios 1.2 billion equity capital supporting 6.3 billion portfolio over 7,500 loans diversified across 50 states and Europe. Embedded operating companies supported by 700 employees across the company's five offices. So what is this company about? Their business can be divided into six different categories. Small business lenders, multifamily homes, bridge financing, CMBS, fixed rate lending and residential. First on the list is the small business part. Ready Capital is an approved non-bank US Small Business Administration, SBA preferred lender. Offers secured and unsecured financing nationwide to small business owners. Provide loans from 350,000 to 5 million. Flexible terms and competitive loan rates to fund a range of business needs. Ready Capital is an approved Freddie Mac SBL seller. Providing small business loans from 1 million up to 7.5 million with both fixed and hybrid rate structures. They provide capital for acquisition, refinancing and cash out requests. Ready Capital provides short term non recourse bridge and mezzanine loans nationwide and transactional. They lend up to 45 million for the middle market and institutional commercial real estate sponsors and larger on a case by case basis. CMBS stands for Commercial Mortgage Backed Security. Ruddy Capital's CMBS lending programs offers a fixed rate mortgage execution strategy for commercial real estate investors seeking competitive pricing with loan structures tailored to the unique characteristics of their properties. Ruddy Capital offers a fixed rate permanent loans up to 25 million for multifamily, office, retail, mixed use, self storage, industrial, and select other property types. As a non-bank capital source, Ready Capital brings the speed to the commercial lending process and helps borrowers to capitalize on more opportunities. Ready Capital is one of the few non-banking commercial mortgage lenders providing financially nationwide. At last but not least, we have residential. There's not a lot of information that I can show you, but I found Ready Capital's statement on the website. To our wholly owned subsidiary GMFS mortgage, we offer residential mortgage loans in the southern US through a lending platform that has funded nearly 50 billion since its interception in 1999. In this sheet, we see that Ready Capital's SBC portfolio is active in almost all the states. The biggest is multifamily, sitting at 48%. The smallest is the mixed use and the office, sitting at 10 and 11%. In this sheet, we see the SBA7 portfolio breakdown, also active in almost every state, which is very diversified. Now that we know what the company does, it's time to check the stock itself. Let's start with the historical performance. In this sheet we see that the total shareholder returns is increasing ever since 2016. If we check the historical stock price we see that RC traded pretty much sideways with a big decline in March 2020 of course. If we zoom in on the one year chart we see that there are a bit more ups and downs but mostly reacts on the overall market bulls and bears. If we check the year to date performance we see that the stock is down roughly 7.8% which is caused by fear in the market and all other general things. But it has to be said that RC presented some great results on the 25th of February and the stock went up roughly 5%. So now that we know the historical performance, it's time to check the actual fundamentals of the company. 
So Ready Capital is a 1.2 billion market cap company with a PE ratio of just 7.44, which is really low. This could mean several things, or this company is a trap or is just trading at lower prices. It has to be said that the REITs have a lower PE ratio in general, but I have to admit that 7 is really low. Ruddy Capital has an operating margin of almost 35% and a profit margin of 26%. Higher margins are also very typical for REITs in general, so this is nothing really special and looks good to me. The return on asset is a bit low though, sitting at just 1.8%. The return on equity is sitting at almost 13%, which is fine by me. If we check the balance sheet, we see that RC is having a total cash of $234 million and a total debt of $7.8 billion, with a debt to equity ratio of 630. This could be something to worry about. Companies use debt to grow their business, but the ratio should always be healthy and they should have enough cash to pay down their debt very easily. This is something Ready Capital doesn't really do well. For me, a big red flag. Another thing is the operating cash flow. Right now it's sitting at minus 11 million dollars. This money is used to pay down debt, buy back shares, do acquisitions, pay dividends and all other things that led to value for the investor and the company itself. Another big red flag for me. In this sheet we see the revenue since 2012 and we see that it goes up big time. There was a small decline in 2016 but ever since 2016 it got up pretty decent. It's something of consistent as well. A really important thing for a company is to buy back shares. This will have several benefits, but the two most important things for me are the EPS, which will go up and attracts other investors, and the total amount of dividends that need to be paid will go down when there are less shares outstanding. This is something RC doesn't really do well. They increase the shares big time, which means the EPS will go down when the revenue doesn't grow in the same ratio. But also, and most importantly for this stock, the total amount of money that goes to the dividends will increase every time they issue more shares. Meaning, payout ratio will go up without increasing the dividends. When the payout ratio is too high to support it on their own, they will need to decrease the dividends or lend money to pay the dividends. So this is something to think about. It has to be said that REITs in general have an increase in shares outstanding. But when you do not have a lot of cash, this might be a problem. When we check the dividends, we see that RC pays a 11.3% dividend yield and a payout ratio of just 76%. And the dividend growth is nearly flat. The payout ratio breakdown shows us that based on this year and also next year estimates, the payout ratio will likely to go up to 90%, which is something to keep in mind. My conclusion is that Ready Capital is a big dividend yielder. I do own shares of this company because of the dividends. It's one of the first stocks that I owned and I enjoyed the dividends very much. I bought my first shares in a range of $7 to $8 and I'm also up in stock price of course. Back then I had a different look on stocks and with all the experience that I got right now and the things I learned I might be sending this big dividend payer. Back then I bought shares for the dividend and also because I knew this stock would go up really easily because of the low valuation and the high dividends. For me, it feels the stock price isn't really going to 20 or 25 in the coming years. That means the only profit I will get right now are the dividends. And because of the high debt, low cash and also an increasing payout ratio, I might sell on this one in the coming months. Right now, I wouldn't put a buy, hold or sell sign on this stock, but I will just tell you to make your very own decision and keep in mind that the dividends might be at risk. Because of good earnings, I think I will wait just a little bit longer to see what happens with the stock price. In the meantime, I will collect my dividends and try to find better deals in the market. But remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about a stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.